Hello, I'm Neil Livingston and welcome to Taking Care of Business. Let me paint you a picture. You're a freshman at the local university. You live in a quaint dorm room with another fine young person. Said roommate has gone off for a picnic with some classmates. It's been a long day. Your feet are tired. You decide to lay down in your bed and do some browsing on your personal computer. Let's take a step back here. You're alone. Your roommate will be gone for a while, enjoying Mother Nature's great gifts to man. This opportunity does not present itself every day. You, you know what you want to do. But wait just a second there, Buster. We need to rationally consider the situation at hand. There's quite a few ways this thing could go south. Your roommate could come back early, you may have forgotten something, or possibly even bring back a couple of his school chums. Lucky for you, I have a few pointers up my sleeve to help you, the viewer, stay happy and unashamed. Pants. We want to steer clear of jeans for this one. Flies, buttons, belts, that type of thing, all a no-go. We want to go for easy access when you have that split second to get yourself together. Move towards mesh shorts, sweatpants, the elastic waistband family. These are the things you need to look for. Timing. Timing is key. Pay attention to your roommate's schedule. See when he leaves the room. Jot down some notes, put it in your desk for later. This way you can keep track. Also, be wary of the 15 minute rule. Tests and exams can make the class shorter, or the class may be canceled altogether. You don't want to jump the gun on this. Sound. This is an easy one. You want to keep the sound inward. This is the idea. If your roommate's coming in from outside, you don't want him hearing what you're doing before he even enters the room. One in, one out. Earbuds. It's a very simple concept. Laptop placement. It's all about direction. The concept here is to have your laptop facing away from the door. Therefore, in case of an emergency, you can allot as much time as possible to deal with yourself and not the computer. Bunk bed. If you're lucky enough to have one of these on hand, use it. Things to think about. Vantage point, line of sight, take into the skies. If you stick to these rules and follow each and every precaution I've mentioned, you should be clean as a whistle. Though, if extenuating circumstances arise, these bonus tips will surely come in handy. Bathroom. This is a safe haven. A lot of curtains, a lot of doors, individual areas. These are all good things. Sadly, also lacking in material. Might have to be a little creative. Also, as a latch assist effort, you could go for an open discussion. Could get a little awkward, but it's better than a surprise attack. Well, we've come a long way. Nope. You should now feel confident to utilize this most fragile of times to the best of your advantage. Take everything we have learned today, put it all to good use, and you'll be fine. I'm Neil Livingston, and remember, if you can't please others, please yourself. No offense, but jeans are a little...